I live um, 100 kilometers away from nuclear plants. I was at home and I was frightened and I was shaking. I couldn't stop shaking and I couldn't sleep. I lost 4 kilo weight for a, um, a week and I couldn't eat anything because I'm scared. Yes, I completely don't trust TV and newspaper. I got information, most of the information from Twitter and also someone's famous uh, nuclear activist uh, blog professor who I can trust. I got those information from there, not on TV and newspaper. Because I could tell that it's fake information and I cannot trust that to save our lives for sure. How, how can you tell that it's fake? Well, Twitter information comes before that and always government gives us a wrong issue late and then a couple months later, they show the new information, the true information, always late. So I cannot trust to protect our lives, especially children. What has government told you about radiation levels where you live? It didn't harm immediately, always say immediately, but it, it was crisis. So, especially food, food uh, amount of dose uh, of radiation, it's very high compared to the other countries. If we measure food uh, contaminated uh, nuclear dose, uh, if we, we trust, we all die. So we don't trust. So now I make school lunch for my child. Even the school provider say safe. I cannot trust. I said school teacher, I cannot uh, let my son eat your school lunch, so I'm going to make myself because to protect my son. I don't trust the school, so who can protect the son is just me, mother, so I'll make it. And I didn't let them say no, even though they say I was going to make it. So I make exactly the same that the school provides. But if it's, I think it's, it's in dangerous uh, food, I just, I didn't use those food. But I try to make exactly the same menu that the school provides. And also, when I visit school, I just write down why I come to school to bring things yeah. so that the mother, when some mother, mothers come and see yeah. why I come here, is because making lunch and bring so that the other mothers think, oh, she's making lunch. That means school lunch is not safe. So I just keep doing every day. And the other children is kind of curious why, what I'm doing. So children see me and, hey, I can bring your lunch to your son. And the children come and they're kind of waiting for me when I go. The first time, and some people evacuated. Those people already work for the nuclear against activities. Those people left immediately. But rest of us think we cannot because we have no, nowhere to go and not ready for evacuation. So we didn't do anything. But if we have support and you know, certain places that we can go, maybe I, I would have gone. But husband doesn't want to go first because my family lives three generations and uh, I live with mother-in-law, father-in-law. So they said we won't go anywhere. So I cannot leave those two old people here. So no, no choice, just stay here. And we had communication, what would you, would, you, would you do if something happened again? And they said, we won't go. So I want to bring my son somewhere, but I don't know if, if things happened. Maybe stay here. I don't know. Even though I know it's dangerous, but no place to go. I don't know. So government, if pay money for that and support, maybe we would go. But no support, no money, no job. It's kind of risk to leave. We don't know. Well, here is ice is not safe, but not so high um, radiation dose. So there are many people who still live um, high radiation dose areas. Their crisis, if they were Chernobyl, they already evacuated, but they still live, and some children have problem at the physical.
political problem. I just want to let them go as soon as possible. So government should evacuate them immediately. Mm. That's strongly I request now.